Hi there, Massimo here from Blue Root. And today I want to show you something that's asked a ton by our clients. If you're in the service business, if you have to complete a project with many steps and you're using Zoho projects, you often would like the ability to, when you close a deal or an opportunity, to auto create a project. This is something that, in my opinion, should be out of box, uh, but it is something that we help a lot of clients do. And what I'm going to show you today is a low code way, actually a no code way uh, that you can use to actually do this. So the idea will be when you close an opportunity, it will then auto create a project with the pertinent template, with the pertinent people attached to it, and then further bring that project back and actually attach it to a deal or an opportunity. Keep in mind that this can be done in any module. The way we've set it up, you could create an account and it creates a project. You create a lead and it creates a project. Today, I'll be showing you from a deal. So step one of this is to actually create a workflow. And in this workflow, for example, we have multiple divisions in our business. Uh, the one I'll be showing you here is our consulting division. So when a consulting deal is actually closed, we make a web hook. So what I'd recommend doing is thinking of your trigger, and we have other videos on how to make workflow rules. Think of your trigger. If it's stages closed one or stages ready to go or whatever you have it, follow something similar to this. Whenever the stage is updated, the stage is whatever you want. Then we webhook. So if you haven't used a webhook before, I'll show you a little bit about it. But the other thing I should preface here is this, this whole thing works or this whole video works with Zoho Flow. So if you don't have Zoho Flow, this will be a little challenging. Now, if you're a Zoho One customer, you do have Zoho Flow. Go ahead and set it up. Um, and what you're actually going to do inside of Zoho Flow is you're going to make a brand new flow. And I'll kind of show you how to do that. So you're actually going to hit Create Flow. And then in, you, you'll name it something. And the original trigger is a webhook. So once you do that, I'll, I'll show you the rest on the actual uh, working flow we have. So here's the webhook. This was the step I left you at. So now you have a webhook URL. You're going to choose JSON. And basically what this is, it's an endpoint that you're going to tell Zoho CRM, send data to this endpoint. And then this endpoint is going to grab the data, read it, and then you can do whatever you want with it. So it asks for the endpoint. There it is. And you're telling it to post, which means send it to the endpoint. Then you're going to make what are called parameters. So basically what this is, is at the end of the URL, it's going to put a bunch of parameters so that when Zoho Flow collects it, it knows, okay, here's the URL. Okay, at the end I have deal name, then I have this, then I have that. So basically whatever you wanna send over to the project, you should map here. So you could see, I could hit this plus here. And first you choose the module, then you choose the field, then you name the field. And the thing to keep in mind is don't put any spaces. It'll break if you do. Um, so you can see here we use something called camel case, which is basically you write out more than one word. And then every new word, you make a capital at the beginning of the word. And so coders do this all the time. So once you have everything mapped, you're going to hit save and associate. Now, kind of the tricky part with this is in order to test it in the scenario we've given, you're actually going to have to make a deal that actually triggers this workflow. So I'd recommend uh, like creating a test deal, marking it as closed, turn this workflow on, create a test deal, mark it as closed, and then have this flow here and you hit retest. And when you hit retest, it's, it's now waiting. And so now you mark the deal as closed and it'll send data here. Once you've done that, your second step is going to be to create a project. So on the left-hand side here, you can search create, or actually probably better, what I typically do, because they have a lot of apps in Zoho Flow now. I scroll to the bottom, because all the Zoho ones are at the bottom because of Zed, and we're going to grab Zoho Projects. And now Zoho Projects has a bunch of different APIs you can call, but the one we care about is create project. So you're gonna drag this over, and then what you'll see here is this. So now you're gonna hit this pencil, and now basically what it's asking you is, okay, you want to create a project, but there are some mandatory fields you have to give us in order to create a project. So number one is portal. This will be hard coded. Um, so you actually, this only works, this flow only works at one portal. If you have another portal, you'd have to make another flow. So I'm going to say the blue root portal. And then the project name 
What I told it to do is what it's saying here is webhook trigger payload, account name, webhook trigger payload, deal name. Basically what that's saying is it's going to take account name from the payload, which is what it's calling this that is sending. This is the payload. So it's going to take the account name I sent and the deal name I sent. And how you get that is I went to this project name and you can see on the right here, here's the webhook. This is everything that was sent from Zoho Sierra. So all I did was I clicked, just to show you here, I clicked account name and then I did space dash space and then deal name. So now every project will say the business name we're working with dash the deal name we're working on or the opportunity name. But you can make it whatever you want. You, if you're sending custom stuff in your payload, you can put it here, right? Start date, end date, if you want, you can bring those. You could bring the closing date and you could like map the closing date here. That would be the start date, right? Description or project overview, you could send all kinds of stuff here. And then we have some custom fields here, but we're mapping the owner of the project. We're mapping the amount from the deal amount into the budget type. So uh, this is a really cool one. We have budgets for each of our projects. So we're choosing that our budgets are by amount, not by hours. So when we quote someone, it's $5,000, not 10 hours or whatever. So we put amount and then we actually bring the amount from the deal. We mapped it in our payload, right? And so you go through this and map as much as you want to map. Probably the only other relevant things are uh, if you have a layout, choose it. If you have a group, choose it. And if you have a template, choose it. So you can see here we have some templates. And you're going to hit done. So that's step one. Now you, from your webhook, when a deal is closed, it's creating a project. So you've done most of the code now. But the last piece you want to do is then update that deal with the project attached to it. So basically what will happen here uh, is attached to the deal. I'll show you in a minute. Attached to the deal, it'll actually have that project at the bottom. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go grab Zoho CRM. And in Zoho CRM, there's a ton of different APIs you can do. But the one you're going to care about is the update related module. So that basically means related to your account, or sorry, your opportunity on the left-hand side, you have related modules, notes, tasks, activities. We're going to update the project one. So I'm going to drag that over, and I'm going to hit the pencil. And now you can see here. It asks you the module you want to update, like the main module, so deals. And then it asks you the related module. And you can see here are all the related modules. And so I'm going to choose Zoho Projects. Then it wants the record ID. So this is the deal ID. So you'll get that from the original payload. So make sure to send that down in your webhook. So this is the actual ID of the deal in the CRM. So you're telling Zoho, OK, go find this deal. And then attach the project ID which you get from creating a project. So in here now, we have a project ID. You can see here, uh, project ID. So you created a project through code and Zoho spits out the ID that you created. And so this is the ID. And then it asks you to name it. So then you just name it the project name. So I grab the project name here. And so what you've now done is, once you hit done here, uh, and I'll apply the changes, even though it didn't really change anything. The what you've now done is when a deal is closed, you webhook flow, you create a project, and then you attach that project back into the deal.